Next, a graduate university in California that brings Christians, Jews, and Muslims together in the same classrooms to educate leaders for churches, synagogues, and mosques. The world first took notice of Claremont Lincoln University's blueprint because we embarked upon the unlikely. We brought together people who didn't look alike, they didn't think alike, they didn't act alike, they didn't worship alike, among other differences. Our success was unlikely, but it worked because of our Claremont core, mindfulness, dialogue, collaboration, and change. This is a series about unlikely conversations, friendships, and brief encounters that exemplify the Claremont core. As Gwen Ifo reminded us, I believe if we only are talking to people who agree with us, we are failing in some way to understand our world and our country. We hope you enjoy this new series, Unlikely. Would you mind just sharing with me what it was like when you first met Muhammad Ali. I think you had just part finished. Of it? Do you want me to do the whole thing? Well, Midnight Cowboy, I think you just finished. If you don't yeah, yeah. mind. No, I'll, but do, it was a I'll great do it. Story. I'll do it. I'll tell you the story. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a rather long story. I've got all the time in the world. Now. Okay, kid. I'm well, here with you. Okay, David. That's that. I just happened to, right after I made Midnight Cowboy, uh, right after it came out, it was out about a week uh, when I was going to travel to the coast. I was in New York. Mm -hmm. There was at the Pan, Pan, Pan Am Airport, which is no longer, uh, you know, no longer exists. When I got there, I saw there was a counter where there were tables and there was a counter. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I looked over and at the counter, there were like a bunch of people. I don't know, maybe 15, 20, maybe not that many, well, 15, 20 people, yeah. Uh, around somebody, and I said, who's, who's that? What's going on? <laughs> she said, well, oh, that's, uh, that's Muhammad Ali. That's the champ. <laughs> and I said, and this is a time when he wasn't fighting, right? All that yeah. drama had taken place, right? Right. And I had known a fellow by the name of Jerry Brandt, who uh, said he knew Muhammad. He said, if you ever bump into Muhammad Ali, just tell him Jerry Brandt. Would have. So I thought, well, I'll use that ticket now, see? Sure. So I go over, and, uh, and as I'm going over, he looks up, he sees me out of the corner of his eye, and I'm coming with such purpose, he, he probably thought I, 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 I knew him from someplace, right? So he looks up, says hello, <laughs> and I said, John Voigt, Mom, and, you know, yeah. uh, I, uh, I'm a friend of Jerry Brandt's, he would want me to say hello to you. Mm -hmm. and he looked at me and goes, that wasn't what he expected, so, Oh, Jerry Brandt, yeah. How is Jerry? I said, oh, he's good, he's good. Oh, that's good. And he keeps signing, he's signing autographs. And then somebody recognized me. Now, the picture was out for a week, as I say, a couple of days. And somebody had recognized me in the group, and they said, uh, you know, John Voigt, would you sign my... So I, and now I, I, I was, I'm a real thin guy, as you can see. Yeah. And I had long blonde hair, long blonde hair. After I do a movie, I just let myself go. Okay. Because you never get tough. You need the hair or not, you let it grow or whatever. That's what, that's what actors do. They okay. grow, grow beards, everything. <laughs> just, they don't know what they're going to be needed to do when they, when they go back to work. So anyway, so I looked a little scruffy. Sure. I looked a 60s kid, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so he looks at me signing autographs. He says... Hey, you're somebody. <laughs> and I said, he says, which somebody are you? And I said, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm an actor. And he says, which actor are you? And I said, Kirk Douglas. <laughs> you know, he says, no, you're not Kirk Douglas. I, said, I threw another couple sure. of names at him. And he said, no. And I said, and I said, I said Muhammad, I tell you the truth. I'm an actor, and I just had a film called Midnight Cowboy, who come out the last couple of days. And it's gotten a lot of attention, and people are starting to recognize me. It's only in one theater here in town. Uh, but 
it's it's a good piece. I'm proud of it, and it's getting attention. So that's why some of these people recognize me. He said, uh huh. And he's signing autographs, and I'm signing autographs. And he says, he finally puts his hand on my shoulder, and he says, "Come on, midnight, let's go downstairs and show off." <laughs> what? You know what I mean? Yeah. He's calling me midnight. Right. I said, I said, okay. So he grabs me, and he's, "Come on, let's go." So we go downstairs, and we stand right in the middle of that stairway, you know, that big stairway that everybody has to come past. Right. Now, you can imagine, if he was sitting in the corner, they'd, they'd see him. He's the most recognizable person in the world. Right. And he's a you know, retired champion of the world. Right. And uh, he's an impressive person, you know. So he, we're standing there, and people are coming up, oh, Muhammad Ali, would you give me your autograph? And he said, and he would say, and he would say to them, he said, "And you know who this is? <laughs> say, this is Midnight Cowboy." <laughs> so he'd make me sign it, right? Yeah. And finally, somebody comes up and looks at us and goes, oh, "I can't believe it! I can't believe what I'm seeing. John Voight and Muhammad Ali in the same airport! I can't believe it!" Yeah. And, he, and he, he signs the autograph. I sign the autograph. The guy takes off. He says. Did you see that? He says to me, Muhammad says to me, he says, he couldn't believe we were in the same airport. I, I thank God for that guy. Yeah. It verified <laughs> right. his, you know, otherwise he was just sure. trying to, you know. But anyway, so he says, come on, let's go get my plane. Mm -hmm. Imagine that we come together as one. Let up. No arguing, no fighting, all we have is fun. And all the children of all nations come together and play. And everyone say, I love you, enjoy your day. This is what it feels like to live in a perfect world. If I had my way, I'd change things for a better world. This is what it feels like to live in a perfect world. If I had my way, I'd change things for a better world.